A mother who sent her son to a Cedar Springs area daycare says that she's grateful its license has been revoked. State regulator revoked Monkey Run Daycare's license on Tuesday. And News 8's Kyle Mitchell here now in studio with what we're learning only on 8. Soon, Brian Hillary Miller says everything seemed fine at first. She started seeing some warning signs. And the situation escalated after going there a couple months. Finding a daycare wasn't easy for single mother Hillary Miller. I was in a pinch last minute to find a daycare. Miller eventually heard about Monkey Run Daycare near Cedar Springs. When I was recommended this place by a couple people and they had an opening for an infant, I jumped on it. And when I went there, everything looked clean and nice and safe. Miller learned this week that Thomas Cronkright, who was operating the daycare with his wife, was arrested and is accused of assaulting her while three children were in the home. Deputies say he then pointed a gun at her while she was holding an eight-month-old child. I was heartbroken for the kids there. I was thankful that my baby wasn't there anymore. Police say Cronkright has multiple convictions for misdemeanor assault and for driving under the influence. He's also accused of using meth. I feel like everything could have been prevented had it been looked into sooner. Miller started sending her son Colin there in January, and she says after a few days she started noticing some issues. Two days after he started going, they were using other kids' bottles, um, using the wrong diapers, sending him home with different pacifiers. She kept bringing up concerns with the owners, but says it kept happening. After I got to work, I got a message that we weren't a good fit for them and to come pick Colin up by noon. And so when I went to, when I went there, they had his things in a bag. Miller asked about his formula and was given this container. They had this dirty mason jar of formula with hair in it and clumps and just, it was disgusting. She says Cronkright pushed and swore at her on March 22nd, which was her son's last day there. Tom started to shut the door on the baby and I in the doorway. When I shoved it open so he didn't shut it, he started to physically push me out the door. Miller is still looking for child care and doesn't know how she will be able to trust another provider. I was just shocked. I felt let down by Lara. I felt let down because I trusted that because they were licensed that, you know, it would be a safe place. And knowing that he has that history of assault charges, multiple and multiple other charges, I knew he should ne not be around children. We contacted the Michigan Department of Licensing and Regulatory Affairs to answer questions regarding this daycare and the inspection process, but have not received a response. Sue.